how's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode. Wow, I gotta get these Mondo optics on. It's freaking bright as hell out here. Anyways, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, well, we've got some, uh, we got some things to do. Millie's currently drinking out of the pond. You keeping the fish excited and on their toes over there? I'm sure they really appreciate you doing that. We've got some, uh, very exciting things to do today. Um, one being, we're building a worm farm. Now you might be wondering, what does that consist of? Well, it consists of growing and breeding, I guess you could call it, worms. Now, you might be wondering why do you want to breed worms? One, that little sucker loves freaking worms. I mean, chickens absolutely terrorize worms. So one thing would be to feed the chickens. Another thing would be to feed these guys, which we've got three baths. Chilling. Dude, it's clear today. Or maybe it's just the sun hitting it. Where, Millie, where's the walleye at? They're always hiding from us. Are they over on that rock, under that rock, I bet? I wonder where the other one is. Dude, the, the walleyes just hide. They like to hide. We've got some rock that we're going to put in today. I bet they're both under there, dude. I don't see it. I don't see them. There's, there's not that many rocks for them to, to hide behind but anyways so we want to grow some worms and that's going to be kind of farm number one for feeding the fish now we might get into something a little bit more advanced down the road with like trying to have maybe like a minnow farm. oh yeah there's a wally look at him he's chilling yeah, he's, he's backing out. oh they were both under that rock oh yeah i see him they like sitting under the rock maybe they're chilling more, maybe we need more uh you need some more you need some more stones and cover in there we could add the we could add these rocks and we've got some other rocks to add but anyways what i was saying is we want to grow worms for two reasons one to feed the chickens two to feed these fish um we we do have some goldfish, so Hookham was on goldfish duty, and he got some goldfish for basically these fish. So we're gonna feed these guys real quick so they're nice and full. Um, but then we're going, we gotta do a bunch of chores. We still have the pigs in the trailer. Now I know you guys watched the pig video, and at the end of it, you saw us put them in over in their actual pen. But I'm filming this video basically in between them. We had to wait a couple days for the hay to burn. If you guys saw that video, we burned all the hay inside the silo. Probably not the best idea. Probably should have just taken the extra hour and just done it because now we have to wait a couple days for it to burn because it's still super hot in there. Uh, so the pigs are in the trailer. We got two pigs. We haven't named them yet. You guys can comment names down below if you guys want um so we're gonna hang out with those guys make sure they're fed um obviously take care of all these guys rick's over there he's taking a nap and we don't have a llama anymore thank god and so we're basically gonna run the routine we've got a lot of chores to do and um that's pretty much gonna be it and then hopefully grow some worms start a worm farm to basically that way we don't have to go buy worms from the store they're overpriced so it'd be a lot easier for us to just grow them ourselves i mean basically it, it's pretty simple we'll walk through it um but it's actually gonna be like a real worm farm it's not gonna just be just worms in the ground like we're gonna they're actually gonna breed but anyways before these freaking goldfish die hook daddy on feed duty Oh, you got keggers. That's good. Dude, there's there's a mondo That's, in there. Is there just keggers in there? Shoo! Yeah. These are big ones. You went off. How many are there? 200? 200. 200. <laughs> <laughs> all right these fish are about to go yeah. off we have yet to see the fish actually feed they're not comfortable eating in front of us yet um but they eat they eat the fish because there's none left there they go bony apple feet bass and walleye dude those are k that's what we need we've been feeding right. them we've been feeding them some little guys yeah we should dump the next batch over there so they swim right by the fish so there you get, dude they're so fat if you guys remember the fish that we got we got them from hookins pond and they were all skinny and now they're just absolute chunk balls of fish so we've got one and let's yeah let's go dump this, this next one on the other side i don't know if they're gonna eat it in front of us that we, we haven't gotten them comfortable enough yet um but they like i said they eat it because we've put crawfish we put tadpoles we've put i mean probably 500 goldfish and minnows in so far and there's nothing left so obviously they're eating it somewhat there you go oh they oh they're by the bass down there oh they're oh they're not doing nothing he just touched his nose what the heck they're just nervous they're shy you think they eat at night or do you think they're just shy they might, I think they do eat at night. You think so? I think I feel like the wall they might eat at night. But they're literally swimming in front of the bass's eyes. Oh, now I can actually see them down there. Oh, dude, they're dude, they're swimming right by them now. This is crazy how many fish. So now we've got 200. Was that a chicken? Get out the mule, chicken! This freaking chicken's always up to no good. Get out of the mule! Get out the mule, chicken! Millie's gonna get you. Are they getting feisty? Ooh. Oh, eat! I want to see one eat. I want to see one eat. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Oh, it works. Does it no really? Way. 100%. All right, I got you guys on Mondo Optic Vision right now. Before and after. Can you guys see better down there? We got you on Mondo Optic Vision right now. Dude, look how many fish are down there. We'll give you guys updates throughout the day today to see how many they eat. But like, literally the goldfish are just sitting there tickling the bass right now. This is unbelievable. They, they're either full or shy. Is there, no, is there another chicken in the meal? Hey, Millie, leave that chicken alone, buddy. Your fish from your pond are kind of lame right now. Yeah. Maybe they're night feeders. You think so? When you come out here with a night vision, check them out. Anyways, whatever. Fish are fed. Um, now, we're trying to grow big bass. One of the things that you can feed bass, obviously, would be minnows. You could give them some crawfish. You could give them some worms, stuff like that. The easiest worm, the easiest farm to start would be worms. So that's why we're going to start with that. But anyways, fish are taken care of. They're not feeding yet. One day, we're going to have some cool fish for you guys that will actually like eat on command. But as of right now, they're just a bag of wieners. Pigs are sleeping. Oh, I woke them up. I'm sorry. They're awake. Let's go. Let's go hang out with them. We gotta give them some food and water. They uh, they managed to spill all their food and water yesterday. 
Well, you hear them rustling around, they're getting anxious. Millie, you, you want to see the pigs? They're probably not. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Oh, that's kind of messed up. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> oh, shoot, chill, don't attack. Come here, Millie. Come on, check them out. Be nice to them. Be nice to them. They're, they're chill. Don't stress them out. We gotta give them some food and water. You guys stay warm last night? We gotta use some heat lamps to be good. Hey, easy, easy. Puppy meets piglets. They'll be nice to you if you're nice to them. You guys sleep all right? Hey, quit eating. You, you gotta eat their poop right now. What up, little guy? Hey. Hey, get that off your snout. You guys are being nice this morning. You guys are thick. What up, buddy? Get that off your nose. Clean that nose off. Oh, you guys are really calmed down. This is good. All the pigs are chilling. This isn't really that bad of a home for them. No. It's nice and warm. It's nice because it's, I mean, we're in a metal trailer, so it's not like they can get out. And they're, you guys good? You guys snug? If you wanted to like house pigs for like a month or two, yeah. this would work. This would work pretty well. <laughs> Millie, what do you think about the pigs? Come here. Go Come get them. Come say hi. Come say hello. <laughs> Don't be rude. Go. Down. Don't be rude. Hey, go say hello. What do you think? Are they just chilling? They're like frozen. They're like, if we don't move, they won't bite us. They're playing possum right now. Millie, quit, quit tickling their ear, you weirdo. <laughs> you're all right. Hey, she won't, She ain't gonna hurt you. She's ya. scared. Millie, you're being good. Yeah, you be you be gentle. You need to be like this with the chickens. Hey, should we move these guys and let them rip for a bit? You guys want to go rip in the other side of the, uh, the animal pen? Do you think they would get along with the other animals? Like, could we let them all rip? Or is that just a bad idea? If we just threw them in the big, big pen? I feel like they'd stand their ground or something. I mean, what's the worst that would happen? You just go grab them and put them back in here, right? Yeah. Let's yeah. try it. Let's yeah. give them, let's let them go hang out. That way we can give them some food. Let them have them well, we should separate them to try to feed them. So that, cause like the other animals are probably gonna try to eat the pig mm. feed, which we probably don't want. Yeah. So let's, we're gonna, we just decided on the spot, we're gonna move these guys for today since we can't put them in their actual pen. Put them in the big animal enclosure, uh, put the, all the other animals on one side and get these guys fed. That way they can root around, graze around. Cause like the one side we're gonna put them in, there's not really good grass anyway. So if they root it up and tear it up, no big deal. Honestly, they're just tilling it up for us anyway. So getting these guys moved is gonna be a little tricky, but I say we give it a shot. All right, Hookin's gonna go and give them grain. All these animals, look at them all, they're all sprinting. Go get your grain. I don't know if this is a good idea or not to put the pigs over here, probably not. I feel bad making them sit in the trailer all day today on a nice day like this. Plus we're gonna be down here to watch them, so if they break out. I mean, pigs are kind of fast, but there's no way they're faster than all of us. Plus Millie, she'll, she'll tackle them or something. So we're gonna get all these animals to one side, lock the fence up. That way the pigs can just run around. We can give them their feed, make sure they're fed. Cause yesterday they didn't eat very well because they just tipped over their food bowl. So let's go shut this gate. All right, all the animals over there. This pen is nice and empty. We've got to open up. We need to wrangle the pigs. Now, if you know anything about wrangling pigs, well, they don't like to be wrangled. So, uh, we're going to have us three beefcakes. We don't even have Bonzo here to help us. So, you guys probably aren't going to see too much of it because it's going to be kind of hard to film. But, uh, essentially, we're going to attempt to get these pigs over here. Getting them back in the trailer is going to be the tough part. But getting them over here, I don't think it'll be too bad. So, let's we'll see if this works. Pig whoop your butt or what? Yeah. They're a little heavy. They're not easy to wrangle. They're chilling though. Look at them. How's it going, pigs? Just don't break out, please. They actually weren't that bad. It just took a lot of, because we had to have one person hold the gate, um, that gate, and then one person hold the door open, the one person wrangle. Three man job, three beefcake job, but hey, we got them in here. Like I said, they're gonna be chill, at least for today. Um, I don't know if they would like, you think they'd know to sleep in that thing? Like, could they just live in here for the next day or so? Or or do you think they're gonna have to stay in here? Yeah, I guess, I guess it's gonna get cold. We have to run power in there. Either way, we're gonna let them hang out. Let's go get their feed and see if they'll eat some food. Hey, come here. Hey, you want some food? The food's over here. You want some food? You walked right past it. I don't know if these guys know how to eat. I don't know what they like, what they were used to before. What are you guys talking about? Yeah, I gave you food. Sure. They don't want the food over here? What do you, how do you feed a pig that doesn't want to eat? You gotta do like a here comes the train thing. Here comes the plane. You know? They're just eating poop right now. I mean, yeah. if that's what they want to eat, I guess. What do you pigs want? Oh, snap, chill. Where are you guys going? Rick, look at the new farm members. Can they just live with you? Look at the sheep. The sheep are like, what? what are these? Who are these guys? First the llama, now this thing? Well, right now I'm filling up a little mud hole for them. Uh, it's not really super hot out, so I don't want it to be like, you know, where they roll around, but just something for them to kind of play with, root around in, maybe get a little drink. Because right now they're not eating or drinking anything. So I'm trying to figure out what to do right now. All right, pigs, come get yourself some. They have no idea what's going on right now. Neither do I. But like I said, just, I wetted down an area. Again, it's not anything for them to jump around and get cold in, but it's just something for them to get a drink, splash in the mud a little bit. I don't know, do pig things. Right now, they're just eating a tree branch and that's about all they're doing right now. Hey, where, where are you oh. going, Rick? Chill, chill out, Charlotte's Web. Well, we're gonna put a dish of food down right here, right where I put, well, actually, I mean, I can just do this too. Scoop some of this 
in the actual dish itself and see if they see if they find it because right now they have no idea that there's food over here there we go all right now we're gonna give them a little bit of water and this is gonna be their little station and we're gonna get on with our day we got to go check on the chickens and ducks or we gotta go check on the ducks and the turkeys the other animals make sure they've got water and we're basically just gonna babysit these pigs make sure they don't break out but for now they get a nice little play date by themselves in a giant pen all right we're coming turkeys and ducks we're coming you ducks are gross they're always making a freaking mess. There we go. All right, you guys want some fresh water or what? Coming in hot. What up, Junior? Hey, chill, hey, hey. chill, chill. Calm down. Get your tail Listen, in there. we're your friend. Hey, we ain't, we ain't trying to hurt you. There you go. Hook Dad, Hook Dad's gonna be your buddy. Oh, he's soft. Hey, he's soft. He's super soft. Melly, why do you always have to be in everybody's business? We're trying to get these uh, ducks and turkeys to get used to humans, and it just, it just ain't happening. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, like, we come out here every day. I mean, I know Melly probably stresses them out just a little bit. We try to, like, you know, hang out with them, pet them, be calm, feed them. The only thing I thought of, if you really wanted to get them, to, is don't always have feed, and you come with the feed every day. So they associate you with food. Uh, I feel like they'd be more chill then. Because yeah. right now, they don't associate us with food because they're they're just like, oh, food's always here. Mm -hmm. But if you don't feed them, and then you just like feed them, you know, like yeah. during the day, you come in here and you throw them a scoop. But, but, but the animals associate say, us. Yeah, same thing with animals. If the animals always had grain, they wouldn't associate yeah. us. So like, if you guys think that's a good idea, let me know. I mean, I know a lot of people that will feed their animals, you know, their birds once a day or twice a day. Every day, to me, it's obviously nice to just put them on automatic feeder. One, they have as much nutrition as they need. You don't have to worry about any animal getting neglected. Um, and also, I don't have to come down here once or twice a day, every single day, if, you know, I'm busy or whatever. But if you guys think it's a good idea, you let me know. But turkeys are enjoying their water. You guys don't even drink out of the turkey drinker anymore. You drink out of this. You're drinking the duck's water right now what's that strat yeah is that the big one you're talking about dude he's like three times bigger than that little guy what are you guys chirping about we still also don't know if any of them are boys or girls because they just sound like they all sound like boy but i don't know if they just don't have their quack yet anyways these guys are taken care of those guys we need to go fill up their water how are the pigs doing oh <laughs> the pigs are running laps over there i don't know if you guys can see them they're literally just running laps the thing is when we got these guys the owners they grew up in like hog sheds so like they've never seen really they've never seen daylight they've never been out they've never seen grass or anything so it's kind of crazy to like to give them that experience and see how they react to it right now they're just like jogging laps and living their best pig life so anyways we're pretty much almost done with the shores uh we need to wash some rocks we need to put them over there in the pond and get that situated maybe hook and put a branch in there we might add another branch and then we're getting started on the worm farm and we might try to feed some of these guys some worms i know the turkeys would probably like them not i bet the ducks would like them the chickens for sure are gonna eat the worms so we'll we'll get, make sure all those guys get a little bit of delicacy action in there but anyways you guys stay tuned Shoo! All right, folks, finally, we are getting, well, actually, we're not getting ready for the worm farm. We are getting ready to put rocks in the pond and then the worm farm. But what our contraption is going to consist of is this bucket, a drill, some drill bits, and this is going to be our rock cleaning bucket. I don't know if it's going to work very well, but basically the rocks we got, they're covered in poop. Uh, so we're going to throw them in here and then spray them down, clean them off. That way we're not introducing a bunch of mud and dirt and grime into the pond, since the pond's pretty clear already, and uh, get these rocks washed off and then into the pond to give the fish a place to kind of relate to, hide, chill, bait fish, stuff like that. Just to make it feel a little bit more natural because right now they're basically living in a, a bowl that's covered with a tarp all right step number one get your drill bit boom start drilling some holes for drainage wow comment down below do any of you guys struggle with like just everyday tasks in life like i do i mean just trying to drill a hole in this bucket it's taking me about 10 times longer than the average human oh there we go we're figuring it out all right keep going all right, we're gonna go. We're gonna call it good with four holes here. Uh, let's go get our rocks. All right, so here are the bags of rocks we're gonna add to the pond. But like I said, they're look at they're covered in mud. I don't know why the rocks are so muddy, but they are. So our idea is gonna be take the rock, put them in the bucket. Some might fall through, but not too bad. Then take your water. All right, she's coming. Now just wash them off. Maybe. Oh yeah, there you go. Look, see all the the mud water? See? Perfect. Once the water's clean, get your hose off to the side and dump some rocks in the pond. Watch out, fish. Coming in hot. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, that look does that. look good. They've got some good structure. All right, let's keep going. Round two, coming in hot. Jennifer, you like, you wanna take a bubble bath? What are you doing, looking for worms? See, she wants a worm farm too. All right, round two, coming in hot. Yeah. Perfect. I think this one, I'm gonna do it on the shelf a little bit, just to give them some structure. Perfect. 
All right, last load here. Shoo, looks good though. There's lots of rock down there for the bass to bait to hang out of. Last one, we're gonna send it right here. there right in the middle beauty i mean made a little bit of a disturbance but not bad we figured it would give the fish a little bit of you know something something worms to hide in and just kind of make it a little bit more natural well rocks are done all right so folks here you go this is your moment this is your time that you guys have been waiting for hey how's it going marty you chilling you're just doing marty things so we are going to build a worm farm so again what does that conclude up well i've watched a bunch of youtube videos and kind of figured out what will work for us we've got this tub here um this is what we're going to kind of start with this is what we're going to grow them out of you can kind of grow them out of whatever if it's not i don't know if clear is better or not either way, we're going to try it i mean i doubt we'll kill the worms because it's not that hot out so you need three components okay you need shredded newspaper to shredded paper in general and you need decomposing leaves and you need black earth like some topsoil type stuff basically like what would be in like a jar with worms in it so we have all the newspapers and stuff up there and we've got some black earth that we bought from the store the only thing we don't have is decomposing leaves so we're gonna head down here this is gonna be a perfect spot i can already see some down there basically it's just yeah i mean that's just what the video said which is decomposing leaves and dirt and earth just kind of kind of all that jazz so we're gonna come down here and see if we can gather a little bit up and then we'll take it up there and i'll show you guys the process we got what how many you got 10, 10 and i think I have I six to eight. eight. So, I mean, we've got a couple hundred worms to start off. So you, you want to start off. So this is exactly what you need right here. This stuff, this is, this is, these are leaves that are decomposing right now from last year's, previous years. It's already moist. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we found a worm hiding in here already. I mean, it's really, really moist, but this is basically the stuff that they hang out in. So for your topsoil, we could just take this stuff, but I figured we would just use the stuff since we already bought stuff, we're just gonna use that. So basically, we're just gonna kind of throw this in there, take some sticks out. This is gonna be one of the layers of our worm farm. So again, just scoop this all in there. This is already the natural habitat for worms. That should work. Perfect. All right, let's go back up top and build the farm. So this is gonna be our worm farm. We've got a lid here. It's already got holes on the top of it. You're gonna to wanna to put some, you wanna quit spraying with water? You good? Tested it. <laughs> He's just over here like, tss, tss, it's just smacking me right in the face. So take your uh, take your bin and you're gonna to wanna to pop a lot of holes. I mean, like this is, it's all for drainage. You're gonna, you wanna make sure that the worms can't get down. Oh, the pigs are running around, that's cute. Uh, you wanna make sure the worms can't get through there, obviously. Um, but it's mainly just for drainage purposes. You gotta make sure that the worm farm in and of itself stays super moist. So we're gonna go ahead and drill a bunch of holes and uh, then get to layering. All right, I don't know if that's gonna do it, but we're gonna hope for the best. Bunch, basically, bunch of holes. So layer number one, your newspaper, shredded documents, whatever they might be. Get a nice little base layer going to this stuff. This is what's gonna retain a lot of your moisture. So then you take the squirt bottle that we used to uh, discipline hooking and oh. uh, turn, it, <laughs> turn, turn it on mist mode. Did I drill you? Yeah, first shot. <laughs> it's pretty far distance. All right, so then you just, no really set amount, but you just wanna make sure all this is damp. Give it one of these guys, squirt it around real nice like. You can even kind of mix it around just to, oh, okay. Pretty much just get a nice good layer of shavings in there that are nice and damp. Like so this, this pretty much just gonna hold your moisture content just to make sure that your worms don't dry up. No one likes dry worms, so. Okay, now that you've got that, that's your that's layer number one. Layer number two is gonna be your decomposing stuff. This stuff right here. So you take this and you just throw this down. It's all just natural, probably not a feather from I don't even know what that would be. It's just like a, uh, it's like, what is lasagna? Yeah, lasagna's got layers. Right there. This is basically like a, uh, we're making a worm lasagna farm or something. Give you a nice little layer. I mean, you could probably leave sticks in here. I'm taking some of them out. But then, pack that all down. Then you're gonna wanna take your black earth, your your more natural earth stuff, which is what we got here. This is just topsoil. I mean, figured it's soil is soil at this point. And it's really, really moist as well. It's got all the nutrients you want. Cut this open here, and then we're gonna make a layer of this. And then you're basically just gonna rinse and repeat until you've got a nice little worm farm. So chuck this stuff in here. And if I'm doing this wrong, in case you guys are professional worm raisers, let me know. I just literally YouTube a couple videos, and I'm just doing what they did. And they look like they knew what they were talking about. It's already moist. If it's not, if this stuff isn't moist, you're gonna wanna get your little spray bottle and spray it up just a little bit. And then repeat, make another layer here, throw that down. This will basically just ensure that your entire farm for your worm will stay moist the whole time. Oh yeah, that's a good, oh yeah. Daggers. That's the good kind there, boy. Oh yeah. Ew. 
Woo! Oh yeah, see imagine just having unlimited amounts of those. You, we could take them fishing, we can feed them to the chickens, just feed them to the fish, cap. and then same thing, take your take your decomposing earth, throw it right on in. And you can do this as much as you want, like you could build all the way up. We, I don't want this thing to be super, super heavy since it's not like a really, really sturdy container. You know, you can get a sturdy container, we just grab whatever was cheap. Same thing, kind of just do that, take this earth, put it on top. Spread it all around. Look at that, nice, nice and fluffy. Nice worm farm here. This is going to be the top layer. I'm going to add a little extra moisture since this is what would, you know, this is what would evaporate first. There you go. All right, you got all the worms. We're going to start dumping them in. I mean, that's pretty close to what. Eh, not quite. I mean, I don't know. We'll see if the topsoil works. Dude, these are keggers. Yeah. Hannifer. Huge. Hey, come here, chicken. You want some worms, buddy? Oh, oh, snap. Oh yeah. See, see what I'm talking about? There you go, Hannifer. Get yourself some. Here you go. Oh, yep. She's figuring it out. You like that worm or you not like that worm? Look at her, <laughs> look at her. All right, yeah, set her down, see if she'll eat this. What's that? There you go. Hey, stay back, stay back. Let Hannah eat the worm. She's, she's trying to figure it out. She's like, this is the biggest worm. Oh, what? Get, get, Hanover, you just gotta get yourself some. It's a big worm, I know. You love night crawlers. What the heck? Here, bite it. You gotta bite it harder. Here, now try it. What is your deal? What is, you always eat worms. I don't understand why you're being so picky. You don't like this? Is it too big? Too much of a chungus? What? I don't know what her problem is. I always feed her worm. Maybe she'll just, she just needs to take Maybe some time. Full. Maybe she's full. Hey Millie, you want some worms? All right, let's get back to worm farming. All right, box number two. Dude, these are kegers. These are the good kind of worms here. Oh yeah, big chunguses. Big chunguses. So the idea is you add a bunch of worms. I mean, we're adding a lot of worms. And then you feed them table scraps, whatever it is, lettuce and banana peels, all sorts of stuff like that. And they will reproduce. Um, it might take some time, but we figured if you start off with a bunch, worst case scenario, all this is gonna do is, is basically extend the life of some worms. So even if none of these worms reproduce, at least we're gonna have worms for quite some time to, to fish with, to uh, use to feed our fish or the, wor or the chickens or whatever it might be. This will help keep them alive because they'll be able to kind of explore whatever. But if we do feed them, they should reproduce, which is what you're gonna want. So that's it, huh? That's the old worm farm right there, baby. Pretty much these guys, they'll, bur they'll burrow in there, hang out. I mean, again, you wanna make sure, make sure they stay nice and moist, just like that. And you'll be good to go. So, I mean, I don't, the fish are not eating on command, unfortunately. But that's pretty much what this thing's for. Put the lid on it, uh, you could store it inside. I mean, if you have a big enough fridge, you can put it in the fridge and it would, it would be good. But I mean, for now, you want it kind of in a dark place. We're gonna put it in that shed down there, um, kind of out of the way where they're just gonna chill. Hopefully stay alive really long. Pretty much be, you know, reoccurring food, re repopulating food. So we don't always have to go out and buy worms because worms are expensive to buy from the store. You make an initial investment like this, not too much. How much was it per box of worms? Five bucks. Oh, so it was a lot. So we yeah. spent 50 bucks on worms? Oh, that's pretty neat. That's a lot more expensive than I thought. You don't have to start with 50. 450. We started with 50 just so we can get more worms hurt in a hurry because our fish, we're obviously, gonna save, they're hungry. money down the road. Down the road. It's an investment. Yeah. Hookin's a big financial guy. So you, if he thinks it's a good idea, you should listen to him. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy today's episode. If you guys want to cop any of this merch, this hat, this hat might, may or not may or may not be out yet. Not sure. You have to look down in the link down below. GuggenSquad.com. Use promo code FLAIR and you can take 15% off your order. I'll catch you guys in the next episode and peace.